All right. Bell work today. Let's open class up with this. Discuss with your seating partner. So you guys did those interviewing Orwells, and I read through a bunch of those, and they're really good. Um, a couple of them were excellent. A really strong uh, interview. So what did you learn about Orwell in, and his literary work, 1984, from your interview? So discuss with each other, and then I want to hear from some of you what you remember you learned. So. Let me hear from let me hear from a few of you. So what did you guys learn as we journey down Luke? First of all, thank you for uh, the few of you that responded to my uh, oops, I overwhelmed you little thing that I put up on Google Classroom. Um, sorry, I didn't know I, you know I had to take the week off, but I still wanted to like set you off on lessons. So I realize I guess that amount of reading is a little unrealistic, huh? So with all of your other classes and stuff, so cool. We'll actually, I'll show you on the calendar. We'll kind of um, pull the reins back a little bit and take it a little bit slower. And a few of you said that you were uh, really enjoying the reading and you wanted to enjoy it. You didn't necessarily want to just plow uh, completely through it. So we'll pull the reins back, we'll slow down a little bit. But here's the thing, some of you might be like, no, I can do this pace. So we'll try to accommodate those of you who can, who can do the pace. Some of you might be in here going, man, I'm up on my reading and I'm ready for the next chunk of reading, great. But others of you in here might be going, man, I could use, I could use the catch up time. So there was a few people that said, oh, you know what would be nice? Uh, I'm overwhelmed because we're going to do an oral report. <laughs> it would be nice. It would be nice to, it would be nice to not do an oral report. Unfortunately, I cannot accommodate you there <laughs> because, because for a couple of reasons. One, the powers that be that write these standards for a class like this say that this is one of the standards you've got you've to meet as a junior or senior in a Britless class. You need to be able to do an oral report. And then two, the other reason I can't accommodate is because I wouldn't want to even if it wasn't a standard. Getting up in front of people and speaking is a skill uh, that you need for your futures. And so doing oral reports is just something we, we do at school. So. Uh, let, me, let me go over this again with you. This is the standard that we are going to meet. The students will make a formal oral presentation in a group or as an individual. So also in the next couple of weeks, you'll have time during class to prepare for that. And we'll even do a couple of practice activities with that to kind of get you warmed up. Prepare a two-page oral report that answers the prompt when governments speak. I thought with 1984 being our primary text for this unit, and all that Orwell exposes about and warns us about, about uh, governments, and in this case, totalitarian governments specifically, I thought it'd be kind of cool to hear from some of you who actually have a lot of experience, maybe because of family or friends in certain positions and those kind of things. I'd love to hear from you, especially here we are in an international community in Cambodia. Um, just like, how would you answer this prompt? When governments speak, what? Maybe. When governments speak, Say it. No, I was, I was. Oh, you said, what, you, what were you going to say? <laughs> say your joke. Say your joke. I want to hear it. Oh, it was serious? Oh, that's no fun. What do you say? I uh, was to say that they're not always telling the truth. There you go. So when governments speak, right, they're not always telling the truth. Or when governments speak, we should always be ready to listen. Or when governments write, well, like whatever it might be. Right? So interesting. It might be a balanced view, right? Whatever. So... Uh, the purpose of this is to analyze 1984 from a socio-political perspective, giving you, the students, an opportunity to prepare and present sort of like a TED-Ed talk. So you know there's a TED-Ed club. I encourage you to come uh, check that out if you're ever available. And so th that kind of speaking is a great skill to incorporate. And so we want to kind of... Hey, again... We're looking at this big idea. Sometimes we need time to catch up, and we're going to do that. We're looking at these standards, recognizing the characteristics of major chronological eras and relate literary works and authors to major themes and issues of their eras. And we've looked at essential questions like this. 
What desired change or impact is the author of a dystopian novel going for? What are the warnings that you predict you will get from 1984? And what are some of the key external um, motivators that caused Orwell to write this literary work? Okay, here's what you're going to do today. Students will be able to respond to one of the questions to the, uh, one of the consider, uh, questions to consider uh, at the end of the class. So, I have a new chunk of reading, but it is much lighter, as you can see. So, here is what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do for class today. Where, wherever you're at in your reading, I understand that some of you are still maybe a few reading chunks back. That's fine. Some of you, though, there might be one or two of you or three or four of you that are, <clears throat> that are up. You're ready for the next chunk of reading. So, here you go. Wherever you're at, that's fine. What I want you to do is... Grab your book today. You're going to just enjoy the read today. Get into the reading flow. Silently read. But here's the thing. I've given you questions to consider along the way. So I've, in Google Classroom, I've put a slide together of just the questions to consider. So wherever you're at in your reading, I would go to that slide and I put the page numbers that those questions correlate with. I would, wherever you're at in your reading, I would go to those questions, choose one of them that you're going to look out for in your reading today, and then while you're reading, take the time to answer that question on a Google Doc and upload it, and uh, that'll give you kind of focused, uh, focused attention while you read today. But otherwise, today is a chance for you to get caught up on reading. So is that cool? All right, here is, here is the latest... Um, the latest questions to consider. So if you are, if you are one of the few that is up and ready for the next chunk of reading, here are your questions to consider. How does Orwell use suspense in this chapter to engage the reader? What scene is used to emphasize the fact that Winston believes he is always being watched? Can you relate or not relate? And consider the simple, consider Orwell's simple implementation of a budding relationship. Why is this so captivating for the reader? What about, what about the specific context of this budding relationship makes it more exciting or like suspenseful? So those are your most recent questions to consider. Wait, what, if we're not ready to uh, go to that, yeah. hey, those pages yet, we do the questions to consider from those. You got it. And on Google Classroom, you have all the questions to consider oh. that have their page numbers that correlate with them. So let's say you're on page you know, 53, you'll see which questions to consider are in that yes. area. And then we have to answer all that by the end of class. By the end of class. So just pick one that's in the, you're already going to re-see it. You're going to see it because you're reading that section. Yep. And then turn it and answer. on Google. Class. Exactly. And, and by the way, the question, you can start answering it in class, but if you don't finish it up, you can finish it up outside of class and then upload it. I don't expect your response to that question to be anything, though, that turns into some major homework assignment. So you could get it done here. You know, a paragraph is fine. You could get it done here. You could turn it in at the end. It just gives you some focus for your, your silent reading today. Cool? All right. What's that? Oh, yeah. Get to it. All right.